While the armies of the Iron Fist marched towards the Golden Guard, the dwarves sent a massive army eastwards to hold off the demons while the humans settled their score. However, High King Zarin Hammerfall and an army of his best warriors instead head for the Golden Guard to support them against Gardon. Meanwhile, at midnight, a secret meeting takes place in the forest. Such is description of an interlude, Last Talk. Gardon. Van Dors. I didn't expect you to actually come, especially not alone. Unlike you, I am no traitor. If this turned out to be a trap, however, I would be prepared. Why have you asked me to come here? We're both in the same situation now, Gardon. We both have done nothing wrong, we both carried out our orders, we both have been betrayed by the Emperor for it. What are you talking about? The Emperor has given us new orders. The Golden Guard is forced to stay on this continent. The Imperial Fleet will destroy any ship that attempts to cross the sea. The portals we had tried to set up have been shut down from the other side. You mean... Yes, the Emperor lets the Golden Guard, his most trusted soldiers, down as he had let you and the Iron Fist down before. You and I have never seen eye to eye, Cardon, but we are kin. Whether we like it or not, we share the same blood. The Emperor, your half-brother, my nephew, he has betrayed us both. This is dire news for humanity. The Emperor, he must have lost his mind completely. He will lead the Empire to its doom. If you think this changes anything between the two of us, however, you are fooling yourself. While the kingdoms were under attack by the demons, you watched and did nothing. Instead, you sent your men after me. Do one who tries to defeat our great enemy. Tell me, uncle, how many deaths could have been prevented if you had worked with the rest of humanity on this continent instead of against it? How many have died thanks to your idleness? I made a mistake. I made a mistake, Gardon. I followed my orders thoroughly. The Emperor was very explicit. I have closed my eyes when I should have acted. You let your arrogance blind you. The Emperor has abused your blindness to his own end. And look what happened. Everyone on this continent wants you dead, and the one whom you served has abandoned you. It is too late now. Yes, yes it is. You have turned to a dark path, Cardon. I know who taught you. Brian has corrupted you with his black arts. We cannot cooperate. You are set in your path, and so am I. No, we cannot work together. Tomorrow we will meet in combat, and only one of us can survive. You are here because I want to give you a chance to reconsider. Take your men and return to your capital. We will use the cannon to destroy the enemies of mankind. Once we are done, we will set sail and attack the Mad Emperor. Your Golden Guard is greatly outnumbered, Renault. Surrender now, and I will spare the Golden Guard. You underestimate the Golden Guard, Cardon. I may be arrogant, I may have made mistakes in the past, but I cannot surrender and allow you to take control. Those you call allies, like that fiend Thanok or the corrupting Brian, will ruin the very soul of humanity. So, war it is. We have reached a point of no return a long time ago, Gardon. We both knew it would come to this. Yes, I cannot claim pity to you. A part of me wished that things were different. So do I. You are a gifted child. There is one last thing I would like to ask you. Why did you help me? Hmm? The Rebellion. We both knew that Redkus had no chance. You knew that I would take control of both kingdoms, did you not? Yes, yes I did. The Emperor had ordered me to try and kill you. I followed his orders as I had always done, but... I wanted to give you the chance to fight. The chance to survive. Why would you do that? You always disliked me. You were more than willing to stop the demons, save a continent that was not your home. Even after everyone had turned their backs on you, you kept fighting. I realized that I had misjudged you. I couldn't disobey my orders, but at that point, I decided to give you a fair chance. It is a shame that you still turn to the dark arts. Because I should thank you, but considering the amount of soldiers who sent to kill me, 
I'd rather not. This is it, Reynold. I will take my leave of you now. When we meet again, we will be fighting. One more thing, Gardon. What? Regardless of what happens tomorrow, regardless of what happens after that, your father loved you and would be proud of you. And you didn't expect this, did you? Yes, there indeed is a choice. I haven't explored the choices yet, but which one? <laughs>